Brooke, John, words included in the proposed constitutional amendment leave room for not only voters to interpret them, but could also one day be interpreted by judges and juries. A right to abortion would be guaranteed in the Ohio Constitution uh, up to the point of fetal viability. Fetal viability, a term used in the amendment as the latest time that an individual has a right to an abortion. It is to be determined by a medical professional per the proposed amendment, but the state constitution has no guidance for the term. If passed, issue one is expected to take effect within 30 days of the vote. However, legal implications would not be immediate and in practice would be left to the interpretation of individual judges. We have it, and I think that's the reason for everybody to look very closely at the language and judge for themselves. Not only do it, what do they think that it means, but what do they think that a court might think that it means in the future. State law currently guarantees an individual in Ohio the right to an abortion at up until 21 weeks and six days into the pregnancy. A vote no would not allow an individual to undergo an abortion past the point of fetal viability, nor would an abortion be considered a constitutional right. Voting no would keep state law and potentially lead to future laws like the state's heartbeat bill that would ban abortion after six weeks of pregnancy or if a heartbeat is detected. That bill was signed and approved, but is currently blocked by a lawsuit. A vote yes could prevent the heartbeat law and allows for an abortion to be performed up until fetal viability at any point in the pregnancy. Voting yes factors in an individual's health, an expanding term that political experts say will continue to change over time. Uh, it's more so that it would prevent other changes, more dramatic changes, uh, restrictive of abortion from happening in the future. Political experts are encouraging people to do their own research on both issue one and issue two. You can take a look at the issues before you head to the polls. There are sample ballots available on your local election board's websites, depending on where you live. In studio, Aaliyah Seabrooks, 2 News.